You look at our football team, I'm impressed with our focus and our energy and how we come to play because we've, we've come, come ready to play. Uh, I think we're number one in the, in the nation and number one in the, in the conference, certainly, um, against the run. So we've stopped the run effectively, we've tackled well. Um, you know, we're starting to pressure the quarterback more effectively. Uh, I think we play three very good quarterbacks that can throw the ball. And um, so, you know, our numbers there might not indicate maybe our success, but we have not had a lot of big plays against us. Um, got to cut down on penalties. Offensively, got to run the ball inside more effectively with our with our tailback situation. Uh, we'll play different guys at tailback because of you know the injury a little bit, but this past game, but uh, past game and a half. But um, got to run the ball more inside. Uh, quarterbacks playing pretty well. But with that said, you know I think that that there's. There's obviously, when you're a quarterback, sometimes you know, you get pressed into different situations, so you're going to make some mistakes at times. Uh, turnover situation is, you know, we turned the ball over four times on, on Saturday. One of them was very late, should not have been pitched, bad decision. And a couple other ones were, you know, were, uh, you know they made a good play or whatever the case. Uh, but uh, so we're about even in turnovers, minus two, but we've had some fourth down stops on defense as well. And, People playing pretty well on the defensive side of the ball for the most part. Special teams have been pretty good. We've got to get our punter situation squared away. I think both of those guys have the ability, um, but they've got to do it on, ga on game day. So, uh, But uh, their go times and everything of that nature are good. We've kicked off the had to good kickoff um, scenarios and um, you know, made a couple plays on kickoff return. Mark, I'm wondering, is it counterintuitive to step into conference play, get yourself revved up for that season, and then sort of step back out of it for a week? Is that something that yeah. isn't? Well, I, I think that, 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 that that's, that's not a perfect scenario to go into. I'd rather play out of conference games than go into it. But you, you know what you're going to play going into it, so you need to prepare yourself for that mentally <coughs> and focus um, accordingly. And that's what we'll do. And I think that. that the thing that uh, exists is we you know, play a football team that's loaded with players from the state of Michigan. So I think there's an inherent competition between them, our players and their players because we've got a lot of them too. So that's a positive in that respect. We'll come ready to play. We've never, we haven't had that issue. Uh, so um, now do we play perfect? No. But few teams are, and you look across the country right now, there's a lot of people scratching their head on a lot of different scores every single week. So we need to stay ahead of the ledger. Right now we're two and one. Let's just try and be three and one, and worry about all that other stuff as it shakes out. Uh, there'll be indications, you know, as we move forward in our seasons, indications why we win or why we lose, and there'd be some different things schematic, schematically or um, statistically that you can point at and say they didn't do this or they did do this. But that's uh, over the course of the season usually.